I need to explain why the entertainment industry is absolutely critical to humanity. In order to understand this, you need to understand something that uh, Tony Robbins, a number of years ago, he presented uh, his theory of six human needs, and it has changed the way I have seen humanity because it explains why we all do the things that we do. And for entertainers and people in the entertainment industry, it's really important to understand because it explains what makes great entertainment, but it also explains why entertainment is important and why we consume it. Without going into all six human needs, let me tell you about the four core human needs that we have as human beings and tell you how the entertainment industry can powerfully help to meet four of our core human needs in very safe ways. Because here's the problem, our subconscious will relentlessly try and find ways to meet these needs. And if we're not in charge of our subconscious trying to meet these needs, our subconscious will do some very, very destructive things at times to meet these needs. And the entertainment industry allows us to meet these needs vicariously through other people emotionally without having to actually go through it ourselves let me explain we have the need as human beings for certainty absolute guarantees and for some people economic certainty is more important than relationship certainty for other people physical certainty is more important than health certainty for some people health certainty is more important than job certainty for, for at different times in our lives different kinds of certainty is more important than others but all of us need some form of certainty in our lives whether it's physical or emotional or economic or career or you know we, we need something and if we don't have any certainty, like in the middle of an earthquake, then we can't function, we freak out. So we've got to have some certainty. The problem is, if our lives were absolutely cast iron guaranteed, certain from top to bottom, left to right, front to back, inside out, we'd be bored out of our minds. So paradoxically, the second human need is the need for uncertainty or surprise or variety. So we need a balance in our lives of certainty and uncertainty or surprise or variety. Let's take a movie, for example. When you go to see a movie, how do we meet our need for certainty and uncertainty? Well, in a well-written script, in a, in a well-crafted movie, we have the certainty of knowing for sure that he is going to get the girl, he is going to save the world, and he is going to live to conquer the villain in the end, okay? We know that with certainty, because that's why we bought the ticket. And if it doesn't work out that way, we're flipping well ticked off. And that's why movies that don't end that way don't typically do well, because we don't pay for gritty reality. We can get that every day when we wake up. No, we want the dream. <laughs> we want the certainty. We want the guarantee of knowing that we're going to have a happy ending. That's why we bought the ticket. But a well-written script and a well-crafted movie throws us through so much uncertainty that we're on the edge of our seats throughout the movie. We cannot figure out how in the world he is going to save the world, save his own life, vanquish this villain and get the girl at the end. So when he happen, when he finally does it, we're like, my goodness, that was a whoo. And, and we have just gone through an emotional ride where we as human beings for a couple of hours have experienced, we have met that human need for a couple of hours of certainty and uncertainty in a completely safe way, in a way that is legal, is moral, is um, that hasn't got us into trouble, that hasn't, you know, it's only cost us the price of the ticket and, and whatever we didn't do, the homework that we didn't do. <laughs> the other two core human needs that Tony Robbins talks about is the need to stand out from the crowd and the need to belong to a crowd. The need for significance and the need for love and connection. Now, Significance um, in the entertainment industry, again, you think of a great movie story. Luke Skywalker was a nobody who lived in the middle of nowhere, right? Except he wasn't. He was a Jedi Knight. And he turned out to be the son of. He was significant. 
He thought he was a nobody, but he turned out to be absolutely a somebody. And we got to live that journey with him as this nobody character discovered what a somebody he was, how significant he was, how important he was. We got to experience that significance vicariously through the movie. So you got that standing out from the crowd. But also belonging to a crowd, love and connection, that sense of community that you get when you're sharing the experience, when you go to a movie. It's, why do we go to the movies with friends and family and loved ones? Why don't we go on our own? Well, we do, but it's, it's a sad, lonely experience. I hate it. I hate going to the movies on my own. Why? Because it's a shared experience. There's, a, there's a, something about sharing that thing that brings us together. Why do we go to concerts with friends? Why don't we just go on our own? Why do we go to concerts at all? Why don't we just stand in a big room on our own and just turn up the volume? <laughs> what, what is it about being in a, in a, a, think of sports games. Why go to a sports game with everybody else? Love and connection, being part of a crowd. So four core human needs. The entertainment industry helps to, it allows us as human beings to meet these human needs in safe ways that are legal, that are moral, that won't ruin our lives in, in most cases. And they are needs. It's really important to understand that every human being on the planet has these needs. They're not just wants.